Where is everybody? Are we live? I think we are. Aha. Wonderful. Come on in and let me know if you're around. If you're on a live or a replay, drop me a little hashtag and just let me know. And then I can come back and chat with you. And if it's your first time here, then ooh, we have a jumper, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, okay. Same message as yesterday. Hi, Julie. Hi, hi, Beth. If you're new to the to the page into this, please pop new in the comments and I can try to direct you. Hi, Bella. Hi, Anne. Good to see you. Hi, Felicia. How are you? It's really good to see everybody. How are you doing today? Hey, Annie. How are you? Hey, Mandy. Good to see oh, Good to see you. We've got an avalanche of cards. OK, cool. So we have our message. Hey, Felicia. Hi, Linda. It's lovely to see you. How is everybody today? It is lovely and warm today here. It's really, really nice. And I'm even happier than that because I've got my parents here for three days. So howdy, Lisa. How are you doing? Hi, Yasna. Good to see you. So I have the parentals here and we just had a spot of lunch and they are now relaxing while I do the daily tap, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so let's have a look what the cards have got for us today. So what's everybody up to today? Let me know in the comments what you're doing. Are you working? Are you sunning yourself? Are you enjoying this heat? Are you not enjoying the heat? We had 70 mils of rain. Oh, Bella, goodness me. Hi, Shah, good to see you. Been a long time. I've missed you too, Felicia. I've missed you too. Hey, Beth, good to see you, love. How are you? Ah. <sighs> Great to be here, everybody. Right, so if this is your first time to the page and you're wondering what on earth this is, then my name's Emma Johnson. I'm the Inner Smile Coach and this is The Daily Tap. And it's a way for me to show as many people as I can how to do emotional freedom technique, otherwise known as EFT for short, or tapping. And tapping is tapping on acupressure points on the face and top of the body and the hands, which sends a calming signal to the brain to tell you that you're not at risk, that everything's cool and you can chill out. And it sends out dopamine, serotonin, and some feel good hormones, it calms the nervous system, stops the panic, um, and it also improves your immune function, among many other wonderful benefits. So um, if, you're, if you've never done this before, then just tap where I tap, say what I say, and see how you feel. And today we're using the Fairy Forest Oracle deck again. Um, there's a big message in here again for us today. Um, and yeah, don't, don't get hung up on cards if they're not your thing. Just think of them as a way to get an affirmation. If you are into the cards, trust me, these are tuned in and spot on. So, hi Darcy, good to see you. Hi Jane, how are you doing? Recouping, fantastic, says Elisa. Hi Tanya, Anna, you're in Wales, fantastic. Just dropped a client off at work, going to pick them up at 11, wonderful. So we can shoehorn this in for you, Felicia. So the two cards that have come out, let me grab the page numbers first. And we shall see. Huh, come on. There we go. Oh, hold on. Yes, that's right. Okay, so the first one that came out was the card from yesterday. Queen of the Darkwood Elves. And this is about premonition, foreshadowing or mystery. And it says, sometimes there is a stirring, a shimmering movement, subtle but unmistakable, in the web of weird that connects us all. This is one such time. The Queen of the Darkwood Elves has come forth to speak to you and ask you to be aware that something is approaching. When she appears, there's a kind of foreboding and an unsettled energy, akin to when a storm is gathering its power. There's a very potent force readying itself in your life. And while its impact is yet to be truly felt and experienced, it's best to be ready. It's best to ready yourself now. So when this card comes, make good your defences. Tend to your injuries and wounds, be they psychic, mental or physical. Take care of unfinished business and bring in whatever you can. Gather up resources and be ready for when the moment strikes and descends upon you. Because something that was unexpected could have harmed you, could have taken you unaware. But now you are forewarned. And truth be told, you are now forearmed. This is no cause to be scared, frightened or anxious. Indeed, this card indicates that you have time to prepare, to grow stronger and to um, meet whatever it is that is coming face on. You will move through the time that you are now warned of and you will be even stronger due to the challenge. But make no mistake, there is a challenge coming and you can now prepare to minimise its impact and ride out the intense wave of energy that it brings into your life. So that is the first card and it sounds like it's scary and negative, but it doesn't have to be. It just means, hey Nicola, hey Louise, 
that we um that we need to get ready and we need to steal ourselves for what's coming hi kelly hi sabra two kelly's one after the other fantastic Tanvio and i are packing boxes fantastic hi linny good to see you thanks for being here i'll come back to you and drop excuse me and drop some resources for you hey christine it's good to see you from greece on vacation that's amazing so that's the first card okay get ready the second card is with the second card oh yes i'll put it in the page <laughs> the second card is more like the how this one so how 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 or what do i need to know about that situation and it's initiate and this talks about curiosity open and warm and it says your energy is unworldly naive and unguarded and you will therefore soon face tests which will help you acquire experience and wisdom when this card appears know that you have an inclination to take risks without thinking of where the road you wish to dart down will lead you you have a tendency to say and do things without thinking through the possible impact. You speak the uncomfortable truth as no other can. The lessons you're experiencing are filling your life with richness. You have so much trust and self-belief, but you are not prideful. You're ready to take great chances and others may even judge you about as being about to take a crazy risk. <laughs> you may be contemplating leaving a safe job, about to travel, enter a new relationship wholeheartedly, or make a move in life without having examined all the consequences. You are curious, inquiring and open-hearted. You are inquisitive, but you are no fool. You're an initiate and you will therefore take risks as you face the unknown. Your next steps into the mystery of this life will be blessed and you have the courage to now enter the unknown. How about that, ladies and gents? And do you like the matchy-matchy-ish with the red hair? Good, huh? And the red top, actually. Oh my God, I've just noticed. And a red top. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think to that? <clears throat> I know, Lisa. I, I don't make it up. You saw me shuffle. Crazy, huh? So that is the Queen of the Darkwood Elves and Initiate. So, yes, there is a... Ch which one are we on? Yes, there is a challenge coming. Okay. And you have everything you need to get through it and you are an initiate so even if some people think you might be mental to take this challenge on that you might be absolutely batshit mental you're an initiate and you can do this you need to stay open curious and warm okay so take from that what you will leave what doesn't work for you how do you find that message let me know are you fucking kidding me says lisa yeah absolutely tell me about it oh content no longer available oh weird okay strange um bella says i'm doing that so resonates very scary just went through a big blow up oh i'm sorry honey i hope it passes for you i hope it passes for you and the message is about you having everything you need inside yourself to get through it and get you know for one and for armed and all of that and you can totally do it and i'm sure that you've got lots of support around you too um true says bella oh my god that's me this nails me to a t the second card but i was fired from my job and moved to a new one okay got you well I'll say this, Felicia, the universe has ways of um, what we call collapsing a container. So anything that we're doing at the time matches our energy, right? And when we expand in energy and we grow, sometimes that container has to collapse and we have to be provided with a new one or we have to find or create a new one. And so you probably, ex you know, ex just expired that container, that particular container, and you were ready to move and the universe will line it up for you. So um could just be me take from that what you need i'm very curious absolutely um wow i couldn't be more where i am right now fantastic show i'm batshit crazy yeah yeah but that's fine um you're very welcome bella you're very welcome louise um stay open curious and warm i love your message and encouragement and need strength the partnership from the job was horrible yeah i can understand that felicia i've been where you are in in the sense that i left um, you know, a good job, a solid job, um, solid salary and all of that. And I left that to do this. And you have to take strength in yourself. And something that's coming through really strong this last couple of days is you have to believe in yourself. You have to have a level of self-trust for any new adventure that you're going to do. Because if you don't, then outside circumstances will get to you. You know, you have to trust what it is inside you have to trust that feeling and if you don't know what that feeling is then close your eyes and just drop into your heart space just imagine dropping from your head down into your heart space and just ask yourself what is the right course of action here what is it that i need to do because you know the answer 
you just maybe don't know you know okay our higher self is always there because it's us it's with us but the us the everyday us is like the ego mind that's here it's where we think from it's it's where we take action from but actually what precurses that is our higher self and our self-trust and our soul and if we tune into that we can't really go wrong as long as we tune into that and we follow it you know breathing through it all a relocation ahead and so many possibilities surrounding it nervous and excited i'm excited for you jill and i know how that feels and it is really nerve-wracking what i'm going to do is after this i'll pop a link in the comments to um, a video on anxiety that i did and you know change the word for anxiety if it's excitement or if it's nervousness or whatever but the premise is there it's a very simple tapping video and it might just help you get through um, not easy to leave something secure for our purpose life absolutely not but you know what christine I'm a different person now. You know, I'm the person that I've always meant to be. Um, collapse in that container. Yeah, absolutely, Kelly. It's, um, we expand and we expand. It would be like carrying on putting, you know, crumbs in a big plastic Tupperware container. Sooner or later, they're gonna put so many crumbs in there that they're gonna overflow everywhere. You need a bigger container. It's the same thing with our energy. It's exactly the same. But the way that the universe and manifestation works is that your ex your container will expand when the universe knows you're ready because you will be leading from the heart center and that vibration that goes out says i am ready for something new i am ready for better i deserve more and i want more right and then the container will appear so just saying i needed to hear this part absolutely lauranda you are always in divine timing my darling in divine timing we trust hey lizzie good to see you let me just check i haven't missed any other questions the new company i am with is called blessed abilities oh, one felicia what a name that's amazing oh i'm happy for you darling breathing through it all we've had that one i'm excited for you all very appropriate absolutely feeling batshit bonkers yeah you know what and that's okay i think in this 5d in these 5d shenanigans that are going on i think you have to be a bit batshit mental to deal with it because it's fucking hard you know, sorry for the sweary sensitive, but it is. It's fucking hard work. It, it's, it's, nobody said this was going to be easy, but that's why we are here and that's why we do what we do. Okay, that's why we do what we do. So, I hope that message resonated for you all. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I am going to go spend some time with my mum and dad and carry on chatting and chill out actually so i'm having three days kind of away from the business a little bit doing a little bit um i'll still be around so uh, feel free to please put your comments in uh, let me know what you thought of these cards and please 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 help me by spreading the love with this by sending the video around if you feel so inclined if you want to um, send it to friends put it on your page tag people in it send it in messenger it's free to do what you want to do with it so if you know somebody who could do with a little bit of you know a little bit of relaxation then send them this because when you do this you know every day i am living proof that when you tap every day your your outer world your inner world changes so much that your outer world changes and you get what you deserve you get what you're worth trust me trust me on that so if you know anybody who needs a little bit of a leg up with that please 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 get this message out to them that would be amazing i love working with people in the dd community fantastic are we ah yeah we were meant to be tapping weren't we there was me thinking that we'd finished we are tapping lisa yes good god woman what is wrong with me today amazing message let's tap don't go anywhere we haven't done the tapping yet what is going on so i joined a bit late but we'll watch the replay julie we haven't even done the tapping yet because i am batshit mental apparently um <laughs> what's going on so let me just get the pages open thank you lisa always keeping me on track my love um let's have a look i haven't missed anything have i no we're, we're tapping bella don't worry we are tapping i'm getting all your messages now we're tapping we're tapping we're tapping you're absolutely right i almost forgot the absolute um the absolute key ingredient here so the first one is queen of the darkwood elves okay and we're going to tap this in so two fingers full responsibility for your own well-being please have washed your hands and just follow me around so on the eyebrow as something is stirring and moving in the web called weird that connects us all. I raise my awareness of something approaching. 
even though there may be unsettled energies. Like a storm that's gathering power. There's a very potent force readying itself in my life right now. And I know I need to ready myself. I choose to take care of unfinished business. To bring in whatever I can. To gather up resources. So I am not taken unaware. I am forewarned and now forearmed. And there is no cause to be scared, frightened or anxious. Because as this thing approaches, I will grow stronger. And I choose to face it head on. While some may find me unworldly, naive and unguarded. These tests that are coming will help me get experience and wisdom. Maybe sometimes I have a tendency to do things without thinking it through. But the lessons I'm experiencing are filling my life with richness. And I have enough self-trust and self-belief to do the right thing. I am ready to take great chances. And even though others may judge me for taking crazy risks, I remain curious, inquiring and open hearted. I am inquisitive, but I am no fool. I am an initiate. And therefore I will take risks as I face the unknown. My next steps into the mystery of life will be blessed. And I have all the courage I need. To enter the unknown. I ready myself for any challenges that approach me now. So be it, and so it is. All right, come to a stop. Take a nice deep breath. Itchy nose, and then we are gonna do a triple warmer smoothie as well. So you wanna take, get your hair out of your face if you've got long hair. Is that the door? Yeah, it's okay. Three fingers, place them over your eyes, keep your fingers on your skin, sweep them out to the temples, drop them down, up and round the backs of your ears on your scalp, carry on down the sides of your neck, reach back, hang your hands on your shoulders, dig those fingers in for a lovely shoulder rub, pull them forward, cross them over and land on your heart centre and take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, that always just expands my lungs massively excuse me but check yourself after this as well because you probably find that your complexion has slightly changed your eyes might be wider um yeah it, it's a really good thing to do after tapping as well it just kind of drains what we call the tail enders away so let me see um please i haven't missed the tapping no no you didn't and i nearly did <laughs> no you didn't Loranda. absolutely um absolutely i learned so much and love their light within and hearts are beautiful oh bless that's lovely um, hi Sheila, found you right on time. Yeah, you did. 
See, that's that's all it was. I was just delaying so that the you know other people could find it as well. That's what it was. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So we got there in the end, guys. Itchy and lots of yawning. How does everybody feel now? Let me know. Drop a note in the comments. If you are new, particularly, I'm keen to see how you feel with this. Um, let me know how that was for you. Do you feel shivers every time? Good, good. Itchy, lots of yawning. Awesome. Amazing. I love that deck so much. The cards are so apt. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's nothing wrong with the challenge. The cards can't always be happy, smiley, you know, dancing around in a meadow with lambs. You know, this is real life. This is the earth plane. This is reality. This is 5D. You know, it's not always going to be easy, but it's always going to be worth it. That's my take anyway. I feel warmth and brightness around me. Fantastic, Felicia. Good, good. Such very apt cards for my future. Great, thanks. You are very welcome. Okay, guys, we got there. Thank you so much for being here. Felicia's relaxed. Kelly says, thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, guys. I'm glad that it resonated for you. Um, and here he is, the man himself. Oops. <laughs> Sorry for those of you who are not keen on dogs. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow around the same time on the Daily Tab. Bye for now.